Hello guys, welcome back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start creating our property management application. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a custom app and uh, then we're going to go ahead and start adding the custom objects that we will create down the line to this application. So for now, we are only going to add the existing objects that we have like contacts and reports tab into this property management application. So go back to your developer's account and go to the setup here. And in this search box, go ahead and enter the word app. So under build create, go ahead and click on this apps here. And we are going to go ahead and create a new custom app. So under the app section, click on the word new. Now it's a custom app, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the way it is, the radio button selected here, and then hit the next button. The label, the app name, I'm going to call it as property management. This is the name of my application, property management app, or we can just leave it as property management. And then description, we can say it is used to manage the rental units hit the next button you can insert the logo here if not then this is going to be the by default logo make sure if you're trying to insert a logo it should be smaller than 20 kilobytes so we'll leave it as it is and hit the next button and from this available list of tabs i'm going to move Contacts because this object will be used for the renters information. We're going to use the contact standard object in order to store the renters information. And then we'll also go ahead and get the reports. If somebody wants to find out how many units were rented, what were, if, if they were paid on time and stuff like that. So if you wanted to go ahead and generate reports, we will add the reports tab also to the selected list of tabs and then hit the next button. And uh, these are all the different profiles. We're going to give the access of our application to all the profiles and hit the save button. So now what will happen is in this drop down that you see, you will see a property management application. So when you click on that property management right now, it has three tabs, one for home, the rest next one is for the contacts. And the third one we have is for the reports. So under the contacts, you're going to have the list of your renters. So these are the existing, think like these are the existing renters we have. And if you want, you can create more renters as well. You can provide their information, phone number, their address, stuff like that. So this is the list of the contacts. So we have created our custom application called property management. Now in the next tutorial, we are going to take a look at the different objects that we are going to create for our property management application. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.